Today we will take you through the CSI MedHub virtual screening process. To begin, you will log into the system and either create a patient or search for an existing patient. In this demonstration, we will create a new patient. We will follow the prompts on the screen, entering all the patient or the student's information in the fields below. Once all the information has been entered, you can hit continue. Testing the blood oxygen level, the oximeter can be placed on the middle finger of the student or patient. At this time, you can note the start video call, which is the green button. If you choose to follow the screenings along the top of the tab, blood pressure will be next. The blood pressure results will be dynamically displayed on the screen. Any notes can now be taken at any time under the gray note section. It is important to note to make sure that the dial on the power adapter is set to 6V. Next, you will enter the student or patient's height and weight. Next, you are able to enter the patient's temperature with the wireless thermometer. Following the instructions, power the thermometer on, press begin, and wait for the spinning arrow. Once the spinning arrows start, hold the thermometer one inch from the patient or student's head, the start button only once. Next is the otoscope option. Attach the specula and power the otoscope on. You will see a red button. It is important to note to make sure to turn off each wireless device as not in use. Please do not have more than one wireless device turned on at the same time. Make sure the otoscope is set on the same frequency as the wireless adapter on the med hub or the white junction box. Using the dial on the side of the otoscope, you can adjust for high definition clarity. The otoscope can be used for ears, nose, and throat observation. You can use the photo and video button to record images. The files will be stored in the green media section in the lower right hand corner. The wireless dermoscope will be used the same way as the otoscope. Power on, watching the red button, and ensure the channels match the wireless adapter on the medical hub or junction box. Use the dial on the otoscope for high definition quality for doing skin related assessments. You can take a photo and video, as well as the medical professional will be able to see the live stream of anything that you have on the camera. The next option is the stethoscope. You can use the noise canceling headphones. The headphones will need to be paired during the setup phase as any other wireless device. Turn the headphones on. The second button will be noise canceling option. The medical professional will often have a pair of headphones as well. Also note, the buttons along the frequency can be changed and adjusted. You can record and store in the patient file if needed. The medical professional can hear the results in live time, giving feedback and recommendations during the session. Hitting the blue next button will always take you to the next screening option. After the stethoscope, you will see the summary page. Hitting the blue button will end the session and take you back to the home screen. The information from the summary will be logged into the patient file. This ends our screening session and options